Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to take a look at the maximum power transfer of a linear circuit to a low resistor. Here we have the equivalent circuit, the equivalent Thevenin circuit with the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance of some linear circuit. We're going to attach to that some low resistor and we're going to make that a variable resistor so we can vary the resistance of the low resistor until we get the maximum power transfer to the low resistor. So we're looking for power maximum. Remember Ohm's law that says that I equals V divided by R. V will be the Thevenin voltage and R will be simply the sum of the resistance of the Thevenin equivalent circuit plus the load resistor. The power consumed is always I squared times R. In this case, R will be the load resistor. If we then square I, which is equal to this, we get this times the load resistor. When we simplify that or at least uh, multiply out the denominator, it'll look like this. This is the power consumed by the load resistor. We now want that to be the maximum power. So what we need to do is we need to take the derivative of the power consumed with respect to the load resistor, set it equal to zero, and solve for the load resistance. So let's go ahead and do that. Notice we have the variable in the numerator and we have the variable in the denominator. So we have a quotient here. We're going to take the derivative of the power with respect to the load resistor. And that's equal to the denominator. Load squared plus R load squared. Times R so it's the denominator times the derivative of the, of the numerator, which is simply going to be the coefficient of R sub L minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. Now notice there's no R sub L here, so that goes to zero. Here will simply be the coefficient. It will be two times R thevenin plus, and here we'll get two times r sub l because that will be r sub l to the first power and the whole thing will be divided by the denominator which is denominator squared I should say so r thevenin squared thing plus is squared two times now to find the maximum power we're going to set that equal to zero now, of course since we have a quotient you set a quotient equal to zero that's only relevant that the numerator becomes zero so what we're going to do is set the numerator equal to zero to find the maximum power. So set the numerator equal to zero and then solve for R sub L. Let's do that. I'm going to multiply this through with that. So we get R Thevenin squared times voltage Thevenin squared plus two times R Thevenin, R sub L times voltage Thevenin squared plus R sub L squared times voltage Thevenin squared minus, when we multiply this times this, we get two times, uh, let's see here, R Thevenin, R sub L, voltage Thevenin squared, and minus this times this, which would be two times R sub L squared, voltage Thevenin squared. All right, hopefully we can simplify some things here. And of course, we need to set that equal to zero. Let's see here, is anything the same? This and this looks exactly the same, so we can cancel that out. That's good, makes it a little bit easier. And notice that this is R sub L squared V Thevenin squared minus twice that. So when we simplify that, we get R Thevenin squared voltage Thevenin squared minus this minus two of those, that becomes minus one of those, R sub L squared V Thevenin squared equals zero. Now notice each of these terms has a voltage Thevenin squared, which means we can divide both sides by voltage Thevenin squared, and that leaves us with R Thevenin squared minus R load squared equals zero, or R Thevenin squared equals R load squared, or simply R Thevenin equals R load. In other words, to get the maximum power transfer from a linear circuit, we want the load resistance to be equal to the Thevenin resistance. If that's the case, we can then go back and plug that in here because now we can figure out the maximum power transferred. So P max, oop, P max is equal to this quantity, but the load resistor equal to the Thevenin resistance. So let's go ahead and do that. We have V Thevenin squared, instead of R load, I can put in R Thevenin, R Thevenin 
divided by our Thevenin squared plus 2 times, well since our load is equal to R Thevenin, I can write R Thevenin squared plus, and this again will be R Thevenin squared, so this becomes equal to V Thevenin squared times R Thevenin divided by 1 plus 2 plus 1, that would be 4 times R Thevenin squared, which means we can simplify this and this, that gives us 1 quarter V Thevenin squared divided by R Thevenin. So the maximum power transfer is obtained when I have equal to this, or if I replace R Thevenin by the low resistance, I can say that P maximum is equal to 1 quarter V Thevenin squared divided by R load. So if I then express it in terms of the low resistor, you can see then that the maximum power transferred to the low resistor is equal to one quarter the Thevenin equivalent voltage squared divided by the low resistance. And that's how we find the maximum power transferred. We'll do some example problems for this, as you can see how we can actually apply that. At what point do we get the maximum uh, transfer or the, the maximum power transfer and so forth? So let's go ahead and show you some examples to make sense out of this equation. And that's how it's done.